Peterson Upland Farm in Wahiawa has been selling farm fresh eggs since 1910. Alina Lee spoke with the owners who say it's time to say goodbye. Rain or shine, some Wahiwa residents are awake at the crack of dawn to get farm fresh eggs at Peterson's Upland Farm. Love their eggs. Uh, no place ever since I was born. <laughs> but even for a local business that's been around for 114 years, all good things must come to an end. There's always multiple reasons why a small family farm closes. Um, so many outside um, things that you can't have control over, cost of things and um, price increases. It's time for me to let go and I'm, I'm really looking forward to having time with family. Lauren, you gotta stop crying. <laughs> the farm will be missed by its daily customers, some who have been visiting since they were kids. It's really heartbreaking that they're leaving. I'm very sad um, because I've shared Peterson Egg Farm with all my friends. I don't know where we would go to get our eggs. <laughs> it's an iconic place for Wahiwa and everybody's into health and wants fresh eggs. And where are you going to find farm fresh eggs? Yeah. So. I grew up in Wahiwa, so this is a really a sad situation. A lot of good traditions are now, you know, no longer here, you know? So that's why it's, it's times are changing. So it's kind of sad. Workers at Peterson's Upland Farm will also miss their community. I also just love the customers. I just have a, a real deep connection with a lot of them. So it, that's, that's my favorite part. Also working with the birds, of course. <laughs> The farm will wind down its poultry production and egg sales around mid-February. The family is still discussing the future of the property. We don't know exactly when we'll be closing down. It just depends on um, egg production. We continue to sell the manure in bags or even truckloads, and we've also got T-shirts and other things. After serving the community for more than a century, the farm says it's thankful to its loyal customers who they've known for generations. Alina Lee, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Sounds like that was a tough decision to make. Yeah, it's a lot of work too, I'm sure, on a daily yeah. basis to keep it running.